I don't really know what to say. I mean, this game sucked. And I'm, I mean, like, they outplayed Tampa Bay both games in a row, and they're in a hole because Tampa Bay has the best goalie in the league. It's that simple. I mean, Vasilevsky is stealing this playoff series. And, I mean, you know, that's – you got to play through it. That's uh, – <laughs> That's uh, that's all I can say. They've dug themselves in a hole, or Vasilevsky has put them in a hole, and you know it's it's going to be up to the team to get themselves out of it. There's not really anyone I thought to really call out. I will say Tara Vinen, I thought had a weak game in particular, but you know I mean, other than that, like it was a weak game. It wasn't awful. It just he didn't play up to his standard and. Other than that, the team played well. They outshot them by over double. They had tons of quality chances, and they weren't able to convert on any of them because Vasilevsky played insane hockey. I mean, Vasilevsky is the best goalie in the world, and he is in the zone. I mean, I think maybe Carolina could try getting dirty, maybe try, you know, like getting him a little uncomfortable, you know, maybe taking a few liberties when your things are not allowed to get him off his game. I would say shoot the puck high at his helmet length is another thing you could do if you really are desperate enough. I think, you know, game three, you just you got to be willing to take a few cross checks next game. I mean, because Carolina, they've outplayed Tampa Bay two games in a row now, and they're down two games. The, you got to find a way to get Vasilevsky out of his game. If he goes to play the puck, trip him. I mean, don't hit him because that can hurt him, but trip him. You know, just kind of take, take the penalty. But, you know, make him be like, okay, every time – every time you have, you have a solid penalty kill. Every time you have a penalty, Carolina should trip Vasilevsky when he comes out and take the penalty. Because, I mean, honestly, getting Vasilevsky off his game is worth giving up a power play goal for Tampa. I, that's It's really that simple. Vasilevsky should not want to be in that net next game. And, I mean, I don't want to say hit him. I don't want to say punch him or anything. But, you know, take head-length shots so he has to duck out of the way. Uh, he's wearing a mask designed to protect him, so it's not like it's dangerous or anything. Uh, you know, but yeah, it's just start tripping him whenever he gets out. Like, make him not want to be there. Get in his crease. I mean, you know, don't respect his crease. If you got to take a goaltender interference penalty, do it. That's what Carolina's got to do, because every other every other matchup, they're outmatching him. Even Nadelkovich is playing solid hockey. They're, they've lost 2-1 to one, two games in a row now. It's not on anybody other than the series. There's only one difference maker, and that's Vasilevsky. It's great hockey. I mean, the only thing is Svechnikov, hopefully he wakes up. He's been a little slow this playoffs, not up to the standard uh, Svechnikov would expect. He goes through slumps being a young kid. By young kid, I mean my age. And so, yeah, that's going to happen, but he got a goal. Hopefully, if he can get going, you know, get two goals in a game for the rest of the series or even just a goal a game, we can potentially win the series. But we got to get past Vasilevsky. And then, you know, I can bring up the goals and stuff. They were defensive breakdowns, but you only have two defensive breakdowns all game. That's going to happen. On average, there's about three goals a hockey game. So the fact that we're only giving up two goals, I don't consider that a huge issue. I don't consider... The fact that we gave up an amazing stretch pass by the defenseman and Brady Shea kind of fumbled with it a little bit, that's not a problem. Like, that's going to happen. It, Tampa Bay is a good team, so when they're pressuring us, that's going to happen. When you're playing a great hockey team, there are going to be times where you're hemmed in, but, Carol, but the fact of the matter is Carolina has them in their zone most of the game. That's the frustrating part. There's nothing for me to really be mad at other than how well Vasilevsky's doing. The other thing I will say is... Carolina can't miss the net as much as they did, especially in the first period. The first period, there were three or four plays where I was like, you got to hit the net there. You got to hit the net there. You got to hit the net there. I don't care how you do it. You just got to get it on net. You can't miss the net. And Carolina kept missing the net, and it came back to haunt him. But Vasilevsky probably saves those two, if I'm being honest. He's just on it right now. He's willing his team to the through round two and it, it's honestly from a fan perspective it's unbelievable to watch i mean i it but if you're carolina you got to play through it. it it's just the way it is you know i mean i don't know when i'll be able to upload this i mean i'm kind of pissed off not only because the hurricanes lost but my fucking wi-fi went out uh in the middle of the game and like i had to finish watching the last 12 minutes on my phone and uh, and yeah that pissed me off but like, the only thing I'm at is something not related to the game. But, 
you know, I guess Tara Vina could play better, but it's one player having an off night. That's going to happen. Like, all the things that I could complain about and say, oh, maybe this potentially costs us the game, it's just things that happen in normal hockey where we still, under normal goaltending circumstances, win the game. But Vasilevsky, he's the best goalie in the world, and he's maybe playing his best hockey yet against the Hurricanes. So Carolina, they just got, I mean, honestly, they just got to keep doing what they're doing. And I mean, maybe what I will say is maybe change the offensive zone up. So you're getting a lot more traffic in the net. Honestly, Carolina should have two people in front of the net at all times at this point. Maybe a guy goes behind the net to catch a behind the net pass or something, or in certain circumstances, setting things up. But other than that, just two guys in front of the net, tons of traffic, and he can't, you got to get the shots through. You also got to get the shots through because Tampa Bay has been blocking a lot of shots. So, so yeah, I mean, other than that, like, that that's just, that, that's the main thing I have is you just got to play through it. You got to keep doing what you're doing. Maybe change your offensive zone strategy because we're out playing Tampa. That's the problem. We're a better team than Tampa except the goalie, and that, that's how good Vasilevsky is. Our goalie has played well, but Vasilevsky is so damn good. Even when a goalie is playing really good hockey, he's still stealing the series compared to another goalie. And you know what? I will say we have, like, I've seen Carolina come back from a 2-0 deficit. But, yeah, they're in trouble. But I will say don't worry about the fact that you're down 2 nothing on the road. Just come into Tampa. Worry about winning game three. That's all they need to do. If you win game three... Then you worry about game four. But right now, it's just we got one game coming up, game three. Let's have fun with it. You're playing in the NHL, you know, like, I mean, obviously. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. Like, you're playing playoff hockey. Just enjoy it. You know, don't let the fact that Vasilevsky is a god god right now take away the fact that you're playing good hockey. That Not just playing good hockey. You're playing in the playoffs. You're, you know, just, like, just have the atmosphere of, look, there's a lot of pressure we're out playing the team that just won the Stanley Cup, even though we've lost the two games. You know, that that's that sucks. But let's go in, let's out play them again, and let's have fun. That's what I think Carolina's culture should be. And, yeah, I mean, like, what else is there to say? Hurricane of the game. I thought Dougie Hamilton did the best job of getting chances. So I'll give it to Dougie. I mean, part of me wants to give it to Svechnikov because he got a goal, but Svechnikov was quiet after that goal, to be honest. So... Give it to him, but, like, yeah, I mean, I think our I, – I will say, this series is starting to fall on the top-tier guys to score. Svechnikov, he has one, you know, the, the, but he, out of Teravine and Ajo and Svechnikov, they only have one goal. That that's, that's It falls on them to be able to beat Vasilevsky to me. The pressure is on them. Dougie Hamilton – uh, as well, you know, Jacob Slavin, he's a defensive guy, but why not, like, yeah, call, I'll call him out to step up, you know, I'm not calling them out because it's bad, they're still playing good hockey, but when you're playing good hockey and your goalie can't score, this is what the guys that were paying millions of dollars are about to give big contracts to, this is their time to step up, so yeah, I guess I'll rephrase that instead of there's nothing they can do differently, honestly, this game, it, that Brindamore's out coaching Cooper, Nadelkovich is playing really good hockey, the depth is playing really well. We're all playing them. It's time for the stars of this team. Aho, Tara Vinan, Hamilton, Svechnikov, Slavin, Jordan Stahl. Nino Niederreiter's out because I think that, that hurts the fact that we've lost a goal scorer. It's on those six guys to step up. That, that's the bottom line. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. You, you know, I don't know when I'll be able to upload. The, oh, shoot, the Wi-Fi just got back up as I'm recording the video. Holy shit. All right, so that's good. Um, yeah, sorry, that's my authentic reaction to Wi-Fi being turned back on right there, so at least, you know, you get to see me smile a little bit at the end of the video, because fuck, man, but, yeah, I mean, just come on out, play good hockey, if, uh, yeah, if you guys like the content I'm producing on the channel, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, yeah, click the bell if you want to get notified when I upload because, you know, my Wi-Fi is actually terrible. It takes me a while to upload. That's why a lot of these get uploaded at 1 in the morning. This one's probably going to be 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for game 3, which hopefully Carolina can solve Vasilevsky. That's the key to the series. We can beat Vasilevsky. We win the series.